Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the twirl effect in Photoshop. This is the finished image and this is the one that we will actually be putting the effect onto. So first of all, I think what we'll do is we'll make a copy of the original image. So we're going to go up to image, down to duplicate, and we're going to call this twirl background and say OK. Now you notice there it says twirl background, but you've also got your original image. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So we're not actually working on the original. The next thing we'll do is convert the background to a smart object. So you can either go to your layers panel and click and find convert to smart object. The alternative way is to go up to layer, come down to smart objects and convert to smart object. And they have the little symbol in the corner that tells you that it's converted to a smart object. The next thing we'll do is go to filter. So we'll go to the top menu, go to filter, pixelate, and then choose mezzo tint. Now right, there's plenty of different selections here. Get different results depending on what look you're looking for. But if we go for medium strokes to start with, and we say OK to that, then we go to filter again, and we come down to blur and radial blur. Now we're going to set the amount on 100. We're going to have it on good. That's probably medium setting draft. It means it, it, you don't get as good a quality, but it does take computer less time. The best is obviously if you've got a bit of a slow computer, that will take quite a while. Then we're going to set it on zoom. And we'll say OK to that. So you have that effect. So we're going to do this three times. Come down to blue again. Radial blue. 100%. Zoom. Good. Say OK. So that's taken even more of the noise out. Just do it once more. Down to blue. Radial blur and say OK. So let's have a go at the twirl. So we're going to go up to filter, to distort, twirl. Now this depends how much of a twirl you want. So I'm going to do something like 150. So you can see what sort of a shape you're going to get from the view. Now we're going to apply another twirl, this time in the opposite direction. So we'll go to filter again, down to distort and twirl. This time we're going to go minus 150. So just type the minus in front of there and say OK. Now we're back to where we started. So you think, how's that going to be a twirl? And let's just wait and see. So if you look to the right in the layers panel, you can see the different filters you've applied. You've got the mezzo tint, three radial blues, and two of the twirl effects. Now, if you click on the first twirl and then double click on this icon to the side, say OK to that. And here's where you can apply a blend mode. Now normally lighten or darken is probably the best. So I'm going to go for light. And I quite like that effect. If you try darken, you get a different effect. There's quite a few different ones. But I think light or darken does definitely work best. So I'm going to say OK to that one. If you go to your second one, do the same. And apply light again. This is the effect you're getting. 
I could apply a dark and I think I do prefer light and or I think I do prefer the light and so we're going to say okay to that one as well. You can also play around with the opacity as well if you wish. I think we'll stick with that one. Now the great thing about having these on smart objects is you can go into any one of these and alter them again. So say if you wanted to go darken Overlay. So that's the great thing about these. You can alter any of these filters now and have different settings. But I'm going to stick with what we've got. And I think um, what we'll do now is we'll we'll save that as it is. So I'm going to save it on my desktop for the time being. Save it as a Photoshop file, named it to all background, and save. Say OK. Now I think what I'll do is I'll take this a stage further. So I think what we'll do is we'll flatten the image. Make sure you've got all your rulers selected. And if you go up to view, make sure you've got rulers and snap selected so you'll have the rulers down the side and across the top so what i'm going to do now is drag the ruler down and bring it halfway and i'm going to select the top half of the image because there's quite a dark piece down here and i'm thinking of having this so I'll select the rectangle marquee and select the top half of the image. Now we're going to duplicate that and put it on, on its own layer. And we've just pressed Command and J. OK, so that gives us our, our layer select. It's on its own layer. And what I'm going to do is go up to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. OK, so you've got the top bit Flip Vertical. Then I'm going to use the Move tool. And move this down. So now we've got an exact mirror of the twirl. We say OK to that. Move the ruler out of the way. So you can actually save that one as twirl background number two, which is what I think we'll do. I'm going to save that on the desktop. Your background too, and save. So now you've got the choice. Let's just go and open, open the other background, open. So now you've got the choice between that one or that one. So there you are. Two tall backgrounds. Hope you've enjoyed that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate a floral image into a twirl. I just want to thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Until the next time, bye for now.